Hey guys, I'm Bethy, Bethinator Space Princess, and I'm here to show you how to make your Mixer Interactive buttons look pretty. Yeah, pretty sparkly and stuff. So, I'm gonna show you guys what mine look like real quick. Uh, we have an animated background up here for our social buttons, and we have changed the font color and the border color. Cooler. And yeah, we have our test button over here. This is what we'll be working on. So, to edit these things, we're going to go to our menu bar on the right and we're gonna go to the dev lab where we create our buttons. We're gonna go to our mix play projects and go to the editor of your curtain button layout. Now we're gonna go to the build where we have all of our buttons. So this is our test button, we just made it. And you see it's pretty blank. All we have is test and the text. So we have our text size which I actually haven't even played with, but I think it works with pixels. You can change the text size if you want. But we're going to mess with the colors on the background. For a text color, we're going to do purple. And an accent color. Our accent color is the color applied to the cooldown spinner and the progress bar of this button. Let me show you how that is. So if you click chicken attack, you see this blue circle going in a circle. That is what we changed the color of. Over here, it's still blue. We are gonna make ours pink. Now our focus color is the color applied to the border when you hover over it. We're gonna make this uh, green to show an active. Our border color will normally be a light blue and our background color will go with another another shade of purple just make everything soft on the eyes i hope this works out i mean i hope it's decent it doesn't look like frankenstein's monster restart firebot so our new button appears and here we are we have our light blue border our light pastel pink background and our purple text. Now if you scroll over it turns from blue to green on the border. Very cool. Now I press it, you see the circle? It is now pink. Love that. Honestly just found that out today. <laughs> All right so last but not least we're gonna show you how to add a background image. You can add a still image or an animated image. We're gonna use the this animated image Oh yeah, let's see how this looks. I'm excited to see how this looks. Now keep in mind when you add your background image, it is going to be the, it's gonna be stretched to the shape of the button. So uh, like for my, my stars and such at the top, this was a total accident. I just threw an animated stars glittery gif that I had up and I liked the way it looked. Now what I would like to do in the future is actually get the exact pixel uh, size of each button and make a button specifically for that. I've seen some streamers do that and it looks A+. plus. So we're going to add this GIF we're going to save and let's see what it looks like. That's cute. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> Originally, I downloaded that GIF uh, to a shout out for my daughter because her her screen name is Rainbow You Ranicorn. Yeah, <laughs> cute, cute stuff. All right, guys, that's that. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you all have fun time streaming, spending those sparks, and stay cool. Peace out. <laughs>